Okay, let's create a refund check. Under the Sales series, we're going to choose Refund Checks. Refund Checks will enable us to actually create a payables check for any customer that has a credit balance. What I do first is key in a batch for my checks. I'm going to create one called Checks and press Tab and you notice it prompts me to add the batch. And when I choose to add the batch, the batch window that opens up is Payables Batch Entry, already set to Computer Checks. I'll select the checkbook I want to use to write the checks from and save my batch. What I'll do now is enter in a range of customers that I want to review to see who has credit balances. So I'll click on Credit Balance Customers and I'm going to go and look for all customers that have a credit balance in the entire system. So I'll select every potential customer and then click on Insert. The system will go through and calculate all the customers that have a credit balance and display it. I have three customers that have credit balances. One of them only has a 58 cent credit balance, so I don't want to write them a check for 58 cents, so I'm going to select that option and remove it. Now here are the two checks that are remaining. So I can decide do I want to write a check for these two or not. I'm going to remove the first one as well. So this is the only one I want to write a check for. The customer is called Kelly Consulting. You'll notice that we have a debit number. So at the point I process this, it's going to actually create a debit in receivables to zero out that account and then create a debit in payables so that I can have an invoice to apply to. Now I don't have a, a vendor selected. I could click on the lookup list and choose from an existing vendor if one already exists. But I don't have one there for this particular customer, so I'm going to click on Create Vendor. And it'll actually go through and create a vendor for me using the same vendor ID and same vendor information that's set up on the card for the customer. So I'll save that and close it out. Now I have a customer and a vendor and an amount, and then I'll just simply click on Process. And yes, I'm sure I want to transfer the credit balances. So what's actually happening is a payable or a debit memo is posting to the receivables to zero that out and then a debit memo is posting in payables to show that I owe that particular customer. Then it's creating a payment voucher so that I can go ahead and create enter in a payment. When all this is done, I'll actually have a payables batch for checks already set up and the vendor information will be posted. Here we are now at the print payables check window. So we have that all set up. I'm going to go ahead and choose to print checks. And I'm going to print my checks to the screen. And you can see we have the check set up for the refund amount. And we can even see the document ID is actually called refund0001. I'll close that out and finish the processing. How easy was that? All at one time done. Boom! Thanks for watching.